Hello and welcome to lesson 12 in the creation of our school management system using Excel and Word. And in our previous lesson, we dealt with how to design the student MS table. So in this lesson, we're going to look at how to design teachers MS data table as well. So we just dive right into it without um, any delay. Sorry for that. Good. So let's just um, resume our work. Now let's just click on this plus sign to create another sheet. Just double click on it to clear the name and then rename it to teachers and this table. Good. We are good to go. Let's just right, right click on it and give it a tab color. I think this color will be okay. Good. Now let's just go ahead and start everything. But before that, let's just go to the view tab and change the layout of our uh, sheet on the body page let's just go to page layout so i think we are good to go let's go back to a uh, page layout tab here and then change the orientation to landscape good i think this is working perfectly for us so let us go ahead and start things up and running so let's just type and um, let's say the region as well the region where the school is located so we go with the circuits or oh, sorry districts then we go ahead with the we have the region we have the district let's go ahead and go with the uh, circuits and then finally the name of the school itself good we are good to go from there now let's just check on uh, the various information we need uh, to take from the teachers for the data or the MS data first of all we go with the ID that is the number we have ID we we'll go with the name we we'll go with the registered number so just for short reg number then we we'll go for the staff id and we we'll now go for rank and let's check on qualification so just type qual for short now let's go for ssf number now let's go for contact now we then go ahead and look at the first so we just the first appointment and let's shorten it so one st ap first appointment date rather sorry date and then uh, finally let's look maybe it could be signature and all that so that is the last thing and here we need to sign it just to sign to confirm the information. Let's go ahead and adjust the various uh, cells. We need to increase so based on the name. Have it this way. Then with this, we're going to decrease the font size to the list at least eight. So that the text can fit into it without any issues for us. So self member, so we just go ahead and check it out here. And then we have the first appointment date. So with this, let's just go ahead and check next. Now, before we do anything at all, let's try to match this sheet and then center them so that we can have enough. So let's just go to the home tab and then match them in center. So let's just align the text back to left good so that we can use this opportunity to adjust these cells without it affecting what we have just changed there so with these two is we can also manage this decrease the id number without any issue there god because there's an id number we can decrease it to the list and that looks okay good so i think this is okay. Let me just use it a bit again so that we don't have any issues when entering our text. Good. So with the name as well, I think this is okay. And then with the registered number, this is okay. With the rank, staff ID, they all look good. Qualification, this is okay. Let's increase it just a bit. With the SSF number, the number is a bit longer, so we increase it a bit. Then the contact as well. Okay, the contact, let's just check and decrease it a bit. With the SSF number itself is even. Let's decrease the rank. And even the register number, let's decrease them. 
so that you can have enough space for the date of first appointment and all that. Good. So let's adjust this now to sign here, signature or whatever here. Good. I think this looks okay. Now let's just select the entire row here and then format it appropriately. I think let's maintain the font size. This. So let's just change the style of the fonts. Times New Roman, we can then bold it. I think this looks okay. Let's center it. That's nice. Good. So we are done with this. Now let's just check the heading and type staff list for MS data. Staff list for MS data. Good. So we can just merge the whole of this with this and center it and format it appropriately. Let's increase the font size. Then the font style times new Roman bold it a bit and let's give it a background color of this text color should be white and we are good to go from there as well so let's just check out this here for instance okay okay good Think everything is now working perfectly for us now let's just go ahead and check on uh, this so I think we have the same thing here formatted as well appropriately so let's just go ahead and give it a we call it okay let's try numbering here but we'll be doing away with them for now we just want to check to get the number we need that is the 50 teachers so let's select this and have this And this is okay with 50 here so we have that now uh, so let's select up to that and then give it a all borders let's check on that and just click on it so we have all borders for that that is okay for now so let's just go ahead and clear the numbering because we don't need it yeah we don't need it actually so let's just stand here and double click okay, it's not gonna work so let's just clear it ourselves good now we need to go ahead and check on the counting staffs but then we don't need that now here we'll be doing that on the the, the ms data sheet itself not the table so when we are done with that we can then copy it and then paste it in word as we are going to do to this and that of the student ms and table as well so with this we'll be copying all this to word from where we can use the function call the insert match field and tra transfer every information from the Excel workbook based on the staff list for MS data and that of the student MS information to white. From there, we can then save it there, convert it to PDF for almost submission to whoever is concerned. So basically, that is that. Let's just select this and then I think we can go ahead and then format it appropriately as well. So let's change the font style to Times New Roman. Can then bold it a bit. So let's just select this, this level, and then just merge them in center. Let's be very careful with the selection. Good. I think this looks okay. You can type the name, the, the region here, the district name here, circuit as well as the name of the school here. So don't forget to save your work, control S to save your work and then till our next lesson I say thank you very much for watching and then bye for now.